All right, let's talk about five things that are going to help you sell your home faster and get top dollar in today's market. Things have definitely changed. We're not in the same real estate market that we were a couple of years ago. So how do you navigate that and how do you achieve your result the best way possible? So number one, I always put this first, hire a professional real estate agent, hire someone with a great reputation. That's going to care about your sale that knows what they're doing. That's going to help with everything else. We have connections. We've done this hundreds of times. We're going to be able to walk you through, save you time and help you achieve that end goal of getting top dollar for your home with as little headache as possible. All right. Number two, declutter. This is the easiest, cheapest thing you could possibly do. It's free. Just start packing things up. You're going to be moving anyway. And I've always heard less is more. You want buyers to be able to focus on the house not on all of your personal property. So if there's too much artwork on the walls, take half the artwork off. Uh, if you've got little knickknacks around the house, just start boxing those up. You don't want them to get broken anyway. Uh, start taking things off the counters. Just clear out a little bit and let buyers focus on your home instead. Uh, number three, do a pre-inspection. Get a general home inspection and get a pest and termite inspection. Those two things are going to cover about 90% of what could possibly be going on in your home. So what that's going to do, it's going to let you know if there's any surprises you were unaware of. Great news is if you do that early enough, you'll have time to potentially find contractors, find vendors to take care of those items so that when you do actually go on the market, it's not an issue and it's not a holdup for the buyer. Um, secondly, if your home's super clean and there really aren't any repair items to do, Great. Share that information with buyers. They're going to be really excited. They're going to know exactly how the home is uh, positioned and they're going to be excited about it. Number four, curb appeal. And this is a big one because it's your first impression. You might have a gorgeous pool. You might have nice views. You might have that fully remodeled chef's kitchen, but if buyers pull up and your landscaping is overgrown or you've got a bunch of weeds, you've got peeling paint, you know, you're missing a roof tile or a roof shingle those little things aren't going to set that showing off on the right foot. So you really want to make sure your curb appeal is on point. Do some touch up paint, make sure your landscaping is dialed in, even plant some fresh flowers. And if you know you're going to be selling in the new future, you know, it might cost a little bit extra per month. Have your landscaper start fertilizing, have them really start to take some good care of the front yard so that it looks prime when you're ready to sell. Uh, number five, make the right improvements. And again, this kind of goes back to hiring a professional real estate agent. We're going to walk through and we're going to be able to help you put together a specific plan for your home. Are you a two year old town home or are you a 60 year old single family home on half an acre? Those are going to be two very different plans and potentially two different types of buyers. And we're going to be able to help you navigate that. We've always heard kitchens and bathrooms sell homes. And that is true. However, depending on your budget, there may be other things that you could do to maximize your specific home and really reel in those buyers so that they're excited and they want to pay top dollar. So if you have any questions, you want to set up a consultation or even look at what a plan would look like for your specific home, just shoot me a message. I'm glad to help and uh, keep an eye on our other videos that we're posting on the YouTube. Thanks again.